my ye go ti de hello there good morning to you good afternoon to you again and good evening to you from wherever you are joining us this is my Yegun live Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to you, brethren, in the temple of truth. We are back again. This time, I, I mean, this time around, please read beyond the caption of the broadcast. Read the description of the broadcast. Like it, share it, invite your friends, invite your not so friendly friends. And just tell all of them that uh, Mayegu is back. So tonight, we are starting from uh, the uh, bus bus between Wirewike and the Jiadenyoju. This uh, bus started with Wirewike, who called the media to his office in Abuja as a response to the factualized expose on his uh, criminal activities as the FCT minister under Tifnumbu, the land grabber of Abuja, where the wicked started there uh, grabbing people's lands, giving some stupid reasons to take people's lands in Abuja, since he is the FCT minister, the thug, as uh, DJ called him, right? The thug believes that he is the law. And on behalf of uh, Tiflumbu's uh, family, he can do anything and everything, and he will get away with it. DJ. Someone that uh, we uh, used to refer to as a cash activist, a woman rights cash activist. They just went back to I mean, to school to study law, having become a victim of a lawless society. So he decided to go and study law in a lawless society to become a lawyer and. In this case, not a uh, woman rights cash activist anymore, but a human rights lawyer standing up for the supposedly oppressed. A few days ago, precisely last week, DG and others visited the scenes of uh, with the weakest carnage and illegalities where people with verified documents that were issued to them by the predecessors of Wirewike, the ministers of FCT, Wirewike invalidated all these documents. He called them fake. Then he called people's homes. He called them shanties. And therefore, he said, those people were scotters who just jumped on lands and they started building on the lands without uh, adequate documentation. Lies. But because now we can be the minister of the FCT is the one to tell you if your document is genuine or not. So in this case, wherever we can needed land, everyone who owns the land becomes illegitimate uh, occupiers in where we can say own laws. And if you dare try to take him to court, which of the courts? So Deji, very dark man, and others visited these victims who narrated their ordeals to him. And Deji called out Wirewike. And he is not the first person to call Wirewike out. There's been so many others, including those who have, you know, those who bought their land en masse for estate development, resold the land to their own uh, customers where the wicked invalidated everything and took the land. 
to justify this lawlessness with a wicked called journalist to his office. He wouldn't even let them ask him critical questions. He was shutting them down. He was more or less like talking to himself to justify his actions. So in that uh, media party, he mentioned DG. You know, it was like those who were criticizing his actions, they were his enemies. They were Diti Plumbu's enemies. They were those who were either seeking favor from him, that he never granted them this or that favor. That is why they are all in the media, criticizing him on social media. They are criminals, he called them. He said, everyone that is against him is a criminal. Only he, with a wicked, is legit. So that is where we are going to start this evening, okay? Where he said, that the reasons why DG is calling him out is not because of those illegal structures, shanties, and the Nigerians he called criminals. It's because, we, I mean, DG asked him for a favor, a favor uh, to become the spokesperson for PDP. And because DG did not get his support, that is why DG is criticizing him. It's not because of uh, those, uh, you know, illegal actions of his. So they deserve don't reply um, I, I have the book for responses. So we are going to start with the part where with the wicked justified stealing people's lands to build houses for judges and share the rest among his friends. According to him, do you want me to actually share the land with uh, to my own enemies? Of course, I will share to my friends. So anybody who is not uh, who is not happy about that is a criminal, not me. So we will start from that. There's so much to discuss tonight, though, and I hope the time will permit us enough to take care calls. So let's get quickly down to it, okay? Here, with a wiki. I saw one young man, they call him Adair Anju, from Kogi State. He's also part of civil society. This was a young boy who came to me that he went to the deputy, he went to the National uh, Provincial Secretary of PDP. I said, no. Yes, I said no. Yes, I said it won't be, and it was not. Yes, I have no regret about it. Then suddenly became a civil society activist. But what kind of country are we in? Then you see him to go to a place uh, to say, we care, you are grabbing La Uruga. This is the kind of civil society you are talking about. People have no job. You turn to civil society. Now, those who say that the governors should not, you mean as I am, as a governor of a state, take for example as FCT, for example, as a governor, when I was governor, yes. then talk as a minister of FCT. The courts are down. You go to the federal high court. The cases they preside. The Minister of Justice, for whose interest? Businessmen and residents of where? River State. It's not correct. It's not correct. Certainly. You're, you're it's not correct. State. I'm a governor of what? I'm a governor of where? River State. To make businesses to move on. To make residents to be happy. To have good governance. And they have no access to justice. Now, I should fold my hands and say, oh, until the federal government comes to make sure that the federal high court as the river state is good enough for the judges to administer justice for the interests of the people of the state. As a governor of river state, that you know by its own position in the South South is the hub of the South South. There's no industrial court. And the industrial court was in Bayasa. 80% of the cases in Bayasa State Industrial Court from rivers. And then I see my people moving to Bayasa State for industrial matter. I said, what? As a governor? I can't talk to the president of the doctor court. Listen, no. 
I'm ready to provide industrial culture. I don't want my people to be going to buy some state. So that is the way to guide industrial court. Now listen, those who say so, MBA, both state at the national level, the court was locked. MBA was sitting in the premises of the River State High Court. When the government of River State then locked up the court, MB had no access to their secretariat. As a governor, I said, no, we won't allow this. I built the secretariat of MBA. That is also to buy MBA. At the national level, as a lawyer, as a governor, MBA wrote to us, who are governors, who are lawyers then? How do you support us? Your own profession to grow. I did my chest as a lawyer who I then a governor. I was the only person who supported MBA to have a befitting secretary. That also means you want to buy MBA. As a governor, the body of ventures called those of us who are lawyers, who are governors, we are tired of this federal government budget of the MBA, of the body of benches uh, 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 building. How do you support us? As members of legal profession, how do we make our profession to grow? I can speak to you with authority. The state government gave support. They, no, so that you so now what does that mean? You want to also guide. I also tell you this. When Mrs. Justice Miller Odley was the chairman of the body of benchers. New Zans Lily. So with a wiki, right? Is justifying why he's been building houses for judges when he was governor. Sure, you get he's been uh, building houses, he will gift houses to judges. Sure, you get so that they will be on his side. That is him trying to justify that that he stole people's land in Abuja to build houses that he was is giving to judges in Abuja so that they can continue to give him favorable judgments. So that's him trying to say. So does that mean I was bribing the NBA? I was bribing the industrial courts when I built courts for them. No, we are not talking about building courts building or building offices or judiciary. We are talking about building houses for people where we say they are not homeless, then gifting them houses so that they can continue to give you favorable judge, I mean judgments. So that it seemed like going left, right, and center, going like not staying in one place. The question he was asked is that uh, you are bribing the judiciary to put them in your pocket, which is so evident. You are stealing people's lands in Abuja because you want to build houses for judges. And you are telling the whole world that Abuja judges no get house. They don't have houses. They are living with criminals. So because of that, you decided to build them houses like you did as governor of River State, which at the end of the day, eh, they made you a member of uh, the life, uh, a life venture. They also have been uh, in your pocket enough that you never lose any case in their court. Ridiculous judgments have been given in favor of Willie Wiki. So to him, it's like it's now kind of like a using what normally normally should have been the responsibility of the judiciary themselves, right? In Abuja, the judiciary they have uh, access to their own money. The judiciary can decide to build houses for their judges. It's not the responsibility of the FCT to build one. But with a wiki, in his own uh, low life, low mind, and low sense, right? And typical Nigerian, so to say, okay is doing it 
to give the good lives to these judges. What people are saying is bribing them. Kind of. Right? So he's giving houses, he's building houses for judges. And Wirewike is a lawyer. And Wirewike has never, ever practiced that law. Like some of these, your criminal politicians, some of them will tell you that they are doctors. But they have never, ever practiced that job. Wirewike has never defended any case in his life. Good enough for his wife. He managed to get his wife eh, to go and study uh, the same abracadabra law. The purpose is not for her to come and defend any case anywhere. There is no record of, her, of his wife defending any case in any court, but she's a judge now. And they have been, you know, in the last 25 years, right? His wife, no, 25 years ago, his wife became, uh, was supposed to be, his wife was called to bar. I think uh, probably let's say maybe 12 or 13 years ago, then today, the wife is a judge of the appeal court. There are many, there are many like that, oh, politicians in Nigeria who have either smuggled their children, their wives, so that they can have their own, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Hey, is it something somebody used the other time? They used something about uh, connection with uh, sex, sex, sex connection or something, right? So whereby their family members, their wives, their children, they are judges. So if you take any of them, if you take them to court, they have their representatives there to kill and get uh, the judgment to the highest bidder. So his wife is now judge of the court of appeal. Or I don't have any record, any public record of his wife fighting for any uh, case before she became a judge. Where Wiki is supposed to be a lawyer, or I have there is no record of Where Wiki defending anybody in any court ever. He's been a politician. They said he's initially is a thug, a out. Then a local government chairman. Then he became a, a, a chief of staff. To Amechi, then he became the minister. And everyone that is used to get those positions, every one of them, he has uh, he has called them out, he has betrayed them in the uh, words. But let him finish his nonsense first. Problem. The road to the border of ventures. The lights are not there. Can you hear? As a lawyer, as a law venture, sit, have an opportunity to help my profession to grow. And I said, look, go and do the road. Go and do this. That also means yeah. well, <laughs> you want to. Hmm. <laughs> so, I, I think we have a, we, we have a just, just perspective in, now. Okay, no, but, but you know, if I could just trip you, Honorable Minister, part of the narratives out there, yes. uh, as my colleagues have highlighted, it's not that there's anything wrong with judges yes. owning houses. Yes. I mean, they deserve much more than that. Yeah, yes. But yes. to find or see judges yeah. coming in front of everybody, maybe associating with litigants, is not good optics. They say, in fact, this is usurpation of the role and responsibility of the NJC. That they don't have, it doesn't have to be politicians doing that for the judges specifically. Yeah. Why can't who, the NJC who, who, handle who, who it? Who approves money for the NJC? That's different. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us start from somewhere. Why would the politicians approve the money for you? You see, <laughs> we try to chase shadows. I, if I do, I can influence. But if I appropriate money, I cannot influence. Who tells you that? Who appropriates money for NJC? Who passes the budget? Yes. It's their responsibility. No, That's no, what I'm no, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. If NJC wants 20 billion to build houses, and National Assembly says, no, we'll give you 1 billion, for example, and what happens? 
So you think that by the National Assembly appropriating this, they have no influence. Or they cannot have influence. Why do we chase shadows all over the world? Even before now, under the military, houses were built by the executive for the judiciary. But for different government policies, where these houses have been sold, and that has not made the judges to be not stay where you cannot even guarantee their security. Okay. Are you not saying today that because as governor of River State, we built for judges, I'm no longer governor. Therefore, I have bought over all the judges. <laughs> what kind of what what I mean as a country? I mean, you tell me what kind of listening is that? In fact, you are even insulting the judiciary. First of all. If you say to the NDS or whatever, and the judges or whoever should be awarding contracts, as soon as they dispute, who does it go to? If the dispute of contract of the of the of the of the contract, Scott. <laughs> who will preside? God. Who would uh, who will uh, assign the cases? I mean, what can we for once believe that we should make our institutions to be strong? This is the first time in our administration of it, of a good, as far as we are concerned in this country, apart from the military, a government has come up to say this. Do you know that all the National Assembly buildings is under the FCT? We build it. The National Assembly. And it's a different arm of government. Yes. It's correct. All the presiding officers. New Zans Lelevi. New Zans Lelevi. Do you see where he's not going to let them uh, let them talk? The judiciary, eh, they are not under the executive. They are not under FCT. They are not under the Fnumbu or anybody. They are actually their own. Judici they are on their own. If they write their budget, it is the duty of the National Assembly, okay? To scrutinize the budget as politicians or whatever he called it, right? They impact it. They don't have any control over how the money is released because it has to be released. But the way they won't let them talk. To him, he's asking stupid questions. They are telling him that, but that, you don't have to be the one to do it. See? You are not the one to do it. They will do it themselves. Listen, 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 listen. Who is going to approve? Yeah, politicians who are the ones, the lawmakers are the ones that will scrutinize and pass the budget. Once it is passed, it is no longer their duty on how they do it anymore. They can have oversight, Abby, but you won't let them talk. No, 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 they just responded to him, okay? And in his own words, describing where the wiki. Whether in my personal business and the places I've worked are there. This man has never walked anywhere. From a, a, a local boy, a, 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 from a, a motor garage uh, tout, he became local government chairman. From then, he has been betraying people. The only difference between wiki and portable is that portable does not betray people that have helped him. The wicked betrays everyone that has helped him. Wicked betray good luck, Jonathan. Wicked we we betray good luck, Jonathan's wife. Wicked betrayed Rotimi Amechi. Wicked betrayed um, Peter Odile, people that have helped him. Is it in the that wicked will not betray? It, even President Inouye is not that dull. He's politically savvy. He knows. He's just using the long spoon to deal with him. And there's not there's nothing you do with Wiki that is safe. Wiki is the reason why they raided the home of judges. You remember now when they raided the home of judges. Wiki is one of the reasons, allegedly, why the former CCGN was removed from office. He kept going around saying that he has judiciary in his pocket and he was mentioning names. So there is the only difference between him and Portable is that when you do something with Portable, at 
least portable will not go against you and betray you. But no matter what you do for yes and we kill, he will betray you. No matter what you do for him. So I'm not surprised that elders that should be confident, the people that in his response to our criticism of him trying to buy the judiciary and pocket the judiciary, he said it is the president that asked him to be building houses for judges and giving judges cars. Was he not building houses for judges when he was governor in River State? Was it Bola Metinubu that told him to build uh, houses and be buying cars for judges when he was in River State? All this land grabbing that he's doing, the people that are doing deals with him, he will still expose all of them. All the land grabbing. He already, already said, he's allegedly saying that it is Tinubu that is telling him to grab people's land in the FCT. That it is Tinubu's wife that is telling him to grab people. He's telling people already, go to the FCT, FCT and the FCT. He has turned the place to uh, Obi Akbo. All oh, reverse people. He made them to imagine. He had, and, and you know, he he's a maximum ruler. Bullies people, just a bloody bully and a coward. Bullies people in the FCT, insults people anyhow, talk to people anyhow. He, same weekend was talking in this interview that uh, Bala Mohammed, he said that Bala Mohammed should, should never have been the uh, chairman of PDP Governors Forum. That in PDP, that they do, they do it based on a uh, rotation. North, south, north, south. Okay, after Mimiko, Mimiko was a uh, PDP Governors Forum chairman, the next chairman was Fa Fayoshe, his friend. It is always the most senior person.